Hello. This is going to be a tutorial on how to fix the problem with AMD software saying that your AMD software and drivers are out of date or not compatible. Um, most tutorials that I found on the internet either lead me to more questions than answers or only temporarily fix the solution and I have gathered a few tutorials that will be combined to hopefully provide a permanent solution for you and let's get started so there's a suggestion that most people give which is to go into search menu and then run this command system properties advanced.exe and when you open it you will go to hardware device installation settings and then you would press no and theoretically this would force windows to stop updating your drivers to something that's not compatible with the software that you just got but personally for me that didn't work so we will be doing something else so what you'll be doing is Windows R and then you will type in this which is devmgmt.msc press OK and go to device or you're in device manager go to display adapters and then whatever your graphics card will be right click it go to properties open the details tab and under property you will open hardware IDs drag click to select all these right click copy then open a notepad and just paste those and then you are done in device manager so this next part there will be a link in the description to this website that will tell you how to get group policy editor either using command prompt or a straight up download but once you've done that you go to run again which is windows and r type gpedit.msc open that and then you'll navigate through here with local computer policy, computer configuration, administrative templates, go to system, device installation, and then click the device installation restrictions folder. And there will be one here called prevent installation of devices that match any of these device IDs. Double click that. And this is not what yours will look like. Yours will look like this, not configured. So what you're going to want to do is press enabled then press and make sure this checkbox is checked because this is something that I've not found in any tutorial to tell people to do. Then you're going to press show and then yours will also not look like this, it will be blank but what you're going to want to do is open the notepad and copy every single one of these individually into each line and then when you're done with that you click OK, apply, OK then you can close that out, you can close that out Then after all that's done you want to open your file explorer go to your C drive. Um, my Personally my AMD folder is in program files. I've seen some people have an AMD folder that's just in their C drive. But then you go to Acer or AMD, open CIM folder, then the bin64, and then there will be an AMD cleanup utility.exe. Now when you run this, it will get rid of all AMD software and drivers from your computer. Um, it'll ask you if you'd want to run it in safe mode. That is definitely what you would want to do. And then when you're done with that, um, I'm pretty sure your computer will restart. And then to check if it's done what you've wanted it to do, you open device management one more time. Then check your display adapters. If it's the exact same thing as before, then something has probably went wrong and you might need to run the cleanup software again. If it appears as something generic like Microsoft Basic Graphics Driver, then you've done something right. So then after that, you want to go to amd.com, go to drivers and support, find your product wherever it is in here, where mine is already here. Then you go to whatever Windows version you're using and download the recommended release. So the after you follow that, your AMD software should be back up. Um, if it's all working and fine, then that's great. If not, um, restart your computer. If it's still not working, try either restarting the tutorial or just ask me in the comment section. I will try to provide any type of help I can give. I am not completely well versed in tech. This is just what I found through the internet and hopefully this will provide some help to people. Thank you for watching.